cool thing about this is that you are also able to do this in regular life. So in uh, during a yoga, and this is always funny to see when I when I uh, enter a class, there are people who are uh, just sitting a bit. Uh, okay, uh, I'm here in the class. I got my mat. There are people around. I'm waiting for the teacher. So they're sitting and waiting. Mm. And some people are just hanging a bit like this or sitting like this. And some people they are already. Uh, prepared they are sitting there and okay I'm coming to practice yoga but the teacher is not yet there but uh, or the class did not start it yet the teacher is maybe there but busy with something but I'm already practicing and that is the main or the main goal yoga is the goal so uh, what you do is uh, you're not going to do a yoga class but you are practicing yoga so in everyday life if you're waiting for the bus you can just stand there and uh, waiting but you can in the meantime just stand there and feel the balance between your left and your right and how your hips are uh, positioned above uh, your knees and above the feet and how your chest bone is lifting, mm. how your shoulders are relaxing, how the crown of your head is going up. There is no main goal, mm. but one of the yeah. goals of mm. the practicing of yoga is to feel comfortable in your body. Because this is your body and you have to deal with it. It is your temple, so you have to take care of it. And if you feel comfortable in your body, you can feel more comfortable in your mind. Mm. So you can pay more attention to the spiritual uh, part of your life. So we do all these positions also at the, the uh, uh, turning or to, to make space here, to feel the breath here and do all these things so that we are able just to sit and sit and meditate and just let the breath fl flow through you and just observe and uh, not that you're sitting and then oh, I have an itch over here oh it's not comfortable here you have to move and uh, do all these things uh, that is why we practice all these different and sometimes difficult uh, yoga asanas mm. but it's it's all about the spiritual practice, of course, uh, and uh, the, the spiritual you practice through the physical. And uh, um, uh, like I, I said this morning, I think everything is in three. So you have the body and you have the mind. Uh, it is very easy to train the mind. Uh, to, to train the body, I mean, mm. to train the body, you, if you want to have strong arm muscles, you do push-ups. Mm. Every day you start with five, after some time you have ten, you have twenty, you have hundred, and you've got very big, big arm muscles. Mm. It's easy, anyone can do that. But to set your mind to it, because most people are like, I did already 10 times, now I don't want to do anymore, I'm tired, I don't want to do, all the excuses are coming and that is the mind telling you. So it is very difficult to train the mind. So how you do that? By using the breath. Because the breath, it is something that goes automatically, it is you breathe even when you're sleeping you're completely unconscious of what you're doing you're sleeping you're breathing but you can also when you're conscious when you're awake you can control your breathing by closing one nostril breathing in through the one and then change the other one breathe out through the other one or just breathing in and out through one or breathing in and out through the other one or breathing into the nose breathing out through the mouth 
and that all has influence on the mind. The way you're breathing, that is the way your mind is. The mind is uh, drifting all the way from here till there and uh, yoga helps you to concentrate the mind on one thing what you are doing. And it doesn't matter what it is, uh, like, uh, you can be the, the musician in, uh, in a concert. At the moment that it's your turn to play the solo, you are prepared and you uh, know at the right moment you have to play. So then comes the moment that you have to play and you just start to play. And at this moment the musician, the instrument and the music become one. That is yoga. That is what you are doing when, uh, uh, when you are practicing yoga, you become, you become one with the thing that you are doing. So in, in this moment I am walking with pens in my hands, I am concentrating on the weight of the pen, balancing it with one hand, the other one I am pouring it out, I am explaining it, I am doing all these things all at the same time. It's incredible to do, but if I, if I get distracted, I might drop the pan and <laughs> drop this wonderful food. But I'm not going to do that because I'm concentrating. At the same time, I correct, correct my hips because I feel, oh, I was not straight, so I correct it. In fact, I only know one reason why I should eat animals, and that is because I like to eat them. <laughs> but that is very egoistic, I think. Maybe it's nice also to eat human babies, <laughs> but we're not going to do that. So why would we eat animal babies? talked with someone in the ancient trance uh, uh, about this and he said we were talking about something and we had our mobile on the telephone uh, our uh, mobile we had on the table and it was off and we were talking about something and yeah holiday to Spain whatever and after some while he put on the telephone and he was looking and bam, there was an advertisement. We want to go to Spain? Yes. Yeah. So I even when your off. smartphone, your stupid yeah. phone is off, you are being heard. So even at this moment, uh, yeah, well, not, not my telephone, of yeah. course, but... Hope so. <laughs> as far as we know. <laughs> as far as we know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is technology. Yeah. Uh, uh, tech, uh, take knowledge. Uh, technology, they yeah. take the knowledge. So uh, we are not thinking anymore. We can do a lot of things as human beings, as creators, mm -hmm. as gods, children of God. Mm -hmm. But if we depend too much on technology, um, if it fails, we fail. And we had some, uh, some years ago, there was a power cut in, uh, in town. And uh, I don't know, it lasted maybe three days 
or maybe only one day I'm not, like it's some time ago but um, what I remember was that all the shops were closed because no one could buy or sell anything because you need a card you need a bank pass to uh, the, the chip card. You have to pay. Yeah. Uh, click, 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 click. Okay, I pay. Okay, beep, beep, beep. Okay, you paid. Thank you. Mm. But no one was accepting real money anymore. Money which you can yeah. touch. There's yeah. coins and uh, banknotes. Mm. Except for one shop. They had old fashioned uh, cash, a counter. So people could come, could come to them and buy their vegetables and whatever, whatever they were selling and pay with normal money. There are people who have uh, bitcoins and they have an account with it and that has been hacked and so people lose uh, real money by losing virtual money. So they have virtual money in some game or uh, whatever, uh, a virtual game uh, uh, and yeah, they lose money in this way. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, I grew up and uh, I learned all these things about reality, uh, what uh, people tell me what is reality and yeah, you have to go to school, you have to learn uh, how to do a job, then you have to do the job, you have to earn money, you have to buy a house or rent a house. Uh, yeah, maybe later you have, uh, you have a girlfriend and you marry, then you have children. Uh, but I learned that there are many different ways of living your life. I learned about different cultures and about different uh, behavior and different um, 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 I like people who are shamans or uh, uh, sadhus or uh, people who live in a community or uh, live completely alone in a cave or in a hut they build themselves or so there is many different ways of living your life and uh, I've been living in a community for uh, two and a half years uh, with uh, about six other people and we were uh, recycling um, uh, furniture clothing uh, uh, electronic uh, material so I learned also that um, there are a lot of things being thrown away. Uh, and so I learned about recycling and about upcycling and um, and I learned well you don't have to work so hard to earn a lot of money to buy new things. You can do alternative work, earn not so much money and buy secondhand things and while I was working in this community uh, with uh, recycling things, I didn't have to buy them, uh, it was part of my salary. And I said, okay, you earn, uh, uh, well, about 20 euros uh, a week, this is your pocket money, and for the rest you're not getting any salary, because you are being paid in uh, the room you have and you don't have to pay for electricity, water, gas, um, you don't have to pay for the food, uh, uh, you get everything you need, and that is the most important, in this community. So if you need a cupboard in your room, if you need a stereo, uh, maybe you want a radio or a record player, yeah, you can have. You can just look here uh, what is being brought in and this we use and uh, this is really, an, uh, th this is what, uh, what I did when I was uh, around 20, 22 years old and um, it made a great impact on my life. I learned how to, uh, uh, how to live with a lot of second hand uh, things. 
and not to be too in, uh, not to be too independent uh, to be dependent on uh, materials and now even when i look around it like, wow i got so many things which i collected during my life but most of the things are second hand or things i found on the street and things which yeah people just leave behind uh, yeah so yeah This is a really beautiful documentary I saw um, uh, about the combination of sugar and fat and the combination of fat and salt. And it was beautiful, the, 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 uh, the presenter, he had a big bowl like this with cream, just cream yeah, for milk skimmed uh, milk, just cream, big bowl like this. They said, you know this cream? Yeah, fresh cream, very nice. So he takes a spoon, up, he takes one, he takes another one, and another one, and he says, but now I'm full, that's enough. My body recognizes this is fat. You eat enough, that's mm -hmm. enough, stop. Mm -hmm. And I cannot eat it, even if I want, I cannot swallow it. Mm -hmm. You have the same thing with sugar. So we take a spoon, we take some sugar, or oh, this nice sweet, hmm. <coughs> and that's enough. Yes. You cannot eat one big spoon yes. with yes. pure sugar. Yes. That is too much. Yes. Your whole face is whoa. And then what you do? You put the cream and the sugar together, and you have whipped cream. You know, they, Whoa, they, so they put it on the pie. Drag. You can eat and eat and eat and eat and continue. You can have a bowl like this and you can finish it. Yes. You can eat it because your body does not recognize it. Yeah. And your body is confused. It says, oh, it is fat. Ah, uh, no, it is sugar. No, it is fat. Ah, it is sugar. Oh, I don't care. Eat, eat, eat. Wow, but in this case, it's like they're making us consume a lot of this stuff. Hey! Because we are able to consume hey. a lot of this stuff. Hey! You find out. Yeah, that is the whole thing. Wow, why, so strong. Why potato chips and ice cream and all these uh, little sweet candies Chocolates are so popular. Normal chocolate made of cocoa beans, mm -hmm. that is not sweet, it's bitter. It's very bitter. Yeah, I know. If you have the real good one, it's a nice taste, I think, but it's not sweet. Only when you put a lot of sugar, then people say, oh wow, I love chocolate. I'll have bonbons or Côte d'Or or the, 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 all the famous Belgium uh, chocolate. It's all sugar, 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 sugar and more sugar. And to make it cheap they put, uh, apart from sugar, they put some other uh, stuff in it uh, so that you can eat more, but it is cheaper for them. Real good chocolate is more expensive, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they put some milk and they put some, um, I don't know, all the, all the things in English, but they put lecithin or, yeah, yeah, that's how um, yeah, they fool you with your food. Oh, <laughs> oh,